Hi, we are the, the Ryans. Um, no, that's not our last name. Our first name is, both of our first names are actually Ryan. So we just say the Ryans and it fits. Um, we've been together since 2013, so almost 10 years. Um, we're raising two beautiful baby boys together. One is 13 and one is two. Um, and it's, we met each other and it's been literally love at the right? <laughs> It was all the to, to actually be honest, we thought it wasn't even gonna go this far. Um, we were friends and we went on, went out of town together and it was a wrap from there, like yeah. ever since. So we we, we we didn't go into this thing thinking, oh yeah, she was about to be the love of my life or not. It just happened and here we are. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> she summed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you'll probably notice that I'm the talkative one. We, 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 we are total opposites. She's like, you know, the laid back, you know, just chill, and I'm more the, sometimes I'll be having to tone it back, so we balance each other out. How did we meet? Wow, okay. So, 10 years, about 19 years ago, 2013, um, we had mutual friends already, um, and so we knew of each other, but... We didn't know each other. Right, we didn't know each other, and of course, I it's followed not... each other on social media, and then met... Technically on Twitter, you might as well say it was yeah, Twitter. Yeah, it was on Twitter. And we Twitter. knew, you know, it's not a lot of Ryans that are females. So, I mean, in the DMV, I knew of her. That was another Ryan. And then she knew of me. I was another Ryan. Right. And then we finally actually met each other on Twitter. And started Social talking from there, yes. built a bond. <laughs> and then, yeah, from there, that's when... Social media, yeah. I'm telling y'all, <laughs> social media works. But um, then we we um, gained a... Started... I'm gaining the friendship. Um, then we go to the movies. We yeah, we're doing a couple like times. Little, little chill things, like actual friends. friendship yeah. stuff. And then I think it was once we went to Ocean City and had a trip. That was yeah. where we were like, okay. And I mean, even right. after that, we were like, you know, whatever. We went out of town, but you know, we still gonna be friends once we cross back the bridge. And but it just didn't work. Didn't we work. just had yeah. to, <laughs> we just had to be together, we together ever like since every day, then, every day. And we actually moved in what? Two weeks after that with each other? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> we moved in two weeks after that, and it was a wrap. It was a wrap. Like, it was like almost we knew. She says that she she fell in love with me first, but um, she, <laughs> she says that she knew. We we kind of knew around the same time, like maybe like three months in, we was like, oh yeah, we 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 about to be together. We, this this is it. Now as far as like kids and stuff, I already had a child um, from a previous relationship, but he was four, so it was kind of like you know, once we started going, he's really all she knows too. And but we definitely didn't plan on adding another one. Um, I, that, I'm still surprised by that too. <laughs> <laughs> no, nine years later, I figured we would probably have another one, maybe two. <laughs> I'm still surprised, but yes, <laughs> but yes, that's how we met, basically, and that's how you know, yeah, yeah. ten years at, ten feet, ten years later, right? Yep. Exact moment I knew she was the one. It had to be probably a, a good month, man. We were inseparable, like. We spent every day together, every day. And the two minutes we were apart, we were on the phone. We went to work, we were on the phone. We got off work, we basically went home to each other. Like I either went to her house or she came to my house. It was a vibe, baby. It was a yeah, vibe. it was a vibe, <laughs> it was a whole vibe. Now for me, see, it was a little different because um, I didn't know. Like, I'm not gonna say I rushed into things, but I had just came out of a long relationship. So it was kind of like, I wasn't, really looking for anything to be lifelong so it was like but then i want to say if yours was a month maybe like a month after that i was like she was bringing stuff out of me that i wasn't used to like you know i came in a relationship like real hard and like you know guarded and just the the, the type of conversations that we would have and you know how she made me feel it started you know i started breaking my wall a little bit and it was like dang you know she really got me feeling some type of way that I never even felt before. So I was like, maybe this is the one. And if I'm going to have more kids, it'll be with her. But still, it was too too soon to know. But I want to say that was when, within myself, I was like, you know, I didn't want to show her that because I didn't want to be too proud. I like challenges. I knew she was, she had a wall up. <laughs> I was going to break it down. See, it was our mission. So she <laughs> accepted the challenge and look at us now because I'm glad you did because I was I was really I was really hard and really guarded. So I mean, 
the fact that she was even able to break me down because a lot of people get intimidated the fact she didn't i was like oh yeah and that's my that's my one right there <laughs> motherhood actually saved me um i had it like i mentioned i had i had a um kid before um but it was really i was really really young so i mean becoming a mother and the effects of being a mother now really didn't i was 19 so i mean i really didn't have those effects yet now having a new baby in this loving fulfilling relationship um it is it has shown me to um it has tapped into my nurturing part like you know i'm a female you know that's my thing to care and everything but like i said i was really hard and guarded so it was almost kind of hard for me to um i show my love differently if that makes sense and so having this new baby with you know a part my lifelong partner i've really been able to tap into my you know soft and you know loving and nurturing motherhood so i, mean, I would say that's how it changed me being together being a mother together because i experienced motherhood being single but being with an actual partner has definitely changed my whole attitude towards people period not even just your kids what would you what, what would you you know motherhood I, for me mm -hmm. It's opened my mind a lot. Motherhood for me has been an experience from actually learning how to be patient, from learning how to adapt to someone else's needs. Um, of course, other than your partner, because she's grown, so her needs are, you know, she can fulfill most of her own needs. But <laughs> for a child, it's, it's it's different, but I like it. I love it, um, especially with a partner who has actually taught and I've grown to learn not only her child and that became my child as well, but together it's like she's taught me so much. I've learned so much from not only Carson but Cameron because I have known him since he was four. It's it's been a journey. I love it. <laughs> the advice I would give to other couples about a successful or prosperous relationship is one communication. You definitely have to communicate either your feelings, their feelings. You do have to understand whether it's a disagreement or agreement. You have to understand where the other person is coming from. Um, and I would say a relationship is, if, as long as you remember that a relationship is forever evolving, like, you know, what you did back in yeah, people change. 2010 is not the same as 2015 or 2020. Like, you have to adapt to that new person exactly. that they're becoming, because, as well as yourself. Right, because a human by itself is always forever just changing. So you have to kind of keep, if you can't maintain something, still using the old tricks, you know. If a new year comes, say Fry that thing up, spice it up some, because that's definitely one thing that we, we I'm not going to say struggle with, but we had to learn, like, you know, adopt we were so, kids, adopt, adopt everything, everything, everything. Right. and we, would, we used to argue a lot, and then we would say, you know, well, back then, back then you didn't want it this way, or back then you didn't want it, but it's not, those back are, then anymore. right, it's not back then anymore, and it's not valid in the, in the argument, because you're mentioning back then, which is 2010, we and it's like, you know, we in 2020, you can't base my actions off of that. Right. So just remember that your relationship is forever evolving. You as a person is forever evolving and it's up to your partner and for you all to get on one page communication just so you all guys are Communication, yes. understanding, and continue to date. Yes, continue. You date. Yes, you have yes. To date in a relationship. if you're not dating, that spice is gone. It's a wrap, honey. It's a wrap. <laughs>